just want to tell you about this lie that I told as a child. It's a bit odd, this, so, but, you know, brace yourselves. I once, right, when I was about eight, told my mum, I goes, <laughs> right, check this out. I was about eight, right? I goes to yeah. my mum, mummy, mummy, I was just going for a wee wee and, uh, and my dinkle went stiff and Jif came out. Right, and I'd sprayed <laughs> Jif around this toilet <laughs> and goes, there you go, there's all the evidence you need. And then just went off to be alone with my thoughts. And well, it what was did a, she say? She goes, oh, don't worry about that, Russell, <laughs> you're just mad. <laughs> <laughs> she, goes, she goes, don't worry about that. Um, that's normal. She goes, oh, you're just extraordinarily, you know, that's just very mature for your age. That's surprising. That's just, you know, that just happens when you grow well, so up. She and, actually thought something had come out. Yeah, of course she did. Oh, when you love a toilet, when a boy and a toilet love each other very much, much they get certain Hang urges. On a minute. You were eight, and she believed that you had. Well, the evidence was all over the toilet. What she had very Jif? little choice. Jif's all grey and gritty. <laughs> 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 to tell you the truth, it was incredibly prescient of me. Uh. <laughs> So what do you think of that, guys? How do you well, like them I apples? What, but I think when you're that age, you tell lies to sort of work out what the truth is and what people will believe and then what can... What to work out the parameters like. of yeah. life. Trevor, I notice you're wearing a couple of bracelets today. What the hell is going on? These are props from a show that I'm doing and uh, I've accidentally... Are you playing them. Carmen what Brand? No, What's I'm, going on? You can't, wear two similar, you can't wear two identical bracelets on each hand. That tell that odd. to the props department at Channel 4. All right, Trev. Why we'll, are you? We'll tell them a few other things about you murdering on? animals and cruising my space at all. Got, we'll get you out of that job. Secret, it? But why are you wearing them? Because I've accidentally left them on when I when I took the rest of my costume off. I left this You've on. Been look at, I saw you earlier looking at them. Yeah, I'm like, admiring at... them on yourself. So it's not. Like yeah, you, you were, Trev. Them. You could I take them off. You obviously if like if it. If I take them off, I'll lose them, and then when I go back to do the rest of it, it'll be. In Congruous. This is from <laughs> Stephen McLeod. I'm, ju I'm just switching off from you, lot. McLeod. Lock. What an idiot. McLeod, well, would you, you twit. <laughs> well, it says McLeod here. <laughs> they should make that clear. I once pretended I was Danish in a nightclub to pick up a lovely young lady one fine summer's evening. I was keeping it out for two hours. Just pretended I was Danish. Hey, I'm Danish, you know. <laughs> well, why is that going to impress anybody? Is that a euphemism again, do you think? I no. don't. I really hope not. I could, um... F I could almost hear the question coming, what are you doing afterwards, until my friend stepped in and told her I weren't Danish. I think he was jealous. Honestly, some people have no sense of humour. That's from Lebowski or Stephen MacLeod or MacLeod, depending on your viewpoint. Don't do that at all.